Taurus. Hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Now let's get one thing straight, right? There's a system to this on thriving here. And the system is this. We're not here to try to figure things out, make things happen, you know, really want things. We're not, we're not here for that. We're actually here to remember who we are, right? We're here to remember and break through the spiritual amnesia that happens when we incarnate here each and every time, right? We remember who we are by making sure that we are following the joys of our heart and living a passionate life. Now, if we are not doing that, then we are resisting things in our life, right? So resistance comes because we are not certain of who we are and what we want. So we have limiting beliefs. We have negative thoughts around that. And then we end up, those always come from a, a, an unconscious fear, a subconscious fear. The reason why we have any fear at all is because we don't know. And the only reason why we don't know is because we don't feel comfortable. Why don't we feel comfortable? Because we're not taking care of ourselves. So step one is to take care of yourself. That is body, mind, and spirit. That, and all that is, is being conscious to the choices you're making, right? Being conscious to what you're putting in your body, on your body, what you're putting your body through, right? Super important because it, it only um, gives us a more beneficial life. You know what I mean? It, it, it helps us uh, have more. Uh, sometimes we don't understand if unless we've been in a higher vibrational state, we don't really understand why we would do that. It's like, why would I eat mangoes instead of chocolate cake and chips? Like, you know, when you're in that energetic state, you don't get it. You know what I mean? I, I was there for many years, right? I, mean, I don't really see what the trade-off's going to be. You know, I think I'll stick to, you know, my sandwiches and, and my breads and my, my crackers and my cookies. I, I enjoy that. It brings me happiness. You know what I mean? But as soon as I sort of took the leap and I started making better conscious health choices for myself, it's a whole nother world. Like I'm telling you, it is a way better place to be, right? When I gave up the, the alcohol and the drugs and, and that kind of lifestyle, which trust me, I was at a place where I was telling myself, what is the point of living here if you, you know, can't do drugs and drink alcohol? I don't know if that's even going to be fun, right? That was my mindset for, for many years, right? And once I kind of went through the journey and realized, okay, well, I'm listening to my spirit. My spirit says, stop. My spirit says, choose this. I'm going to go for it. Take that leap and you go for it. You start to realize there is a whole nother world to be lived in the same life you're already living. You will see things differently. You will attract different things into your life. It is incredible. And you don't know until you take that leap right into the unknown. And so we're, we're sharing this with you merely just to in, encourage you and invite you to take that leap. What is your soul guiding you to, to, to do, right? What is it that you're being asked to do, right? Because when you do that, you are going to see things differently. And what's going to happen is that there's going to be an opportunity that's going to open up for you. You're going to, you're, you're going to be in a place where when you start saying yes to you, what your soul really wants, and you make those choices and you take that leap and you make those healthier choices and you feel more comfortable with yourself, you start meditating daily. You start prioritizing what you're putting into your body. How does it make you feel, right? You're acknowledging it. Uh, it doesn't make me feel good. I acknowledge this. I'll go for the uh, healthier choice next time, right? And it's about collecting data, right? Okay, one day you're eating chips, next day you're eating celery, right? Oh, that was too much of a contrast. I didn't like that. I'm going back to chips. Okay, well, what if instead of chips, we chose the baked option? What if instead of chips, we chose the vegetables? You know, whatever whatever it is, the, the, the air fryer vegetables. You know what I mean? It's about collecting data, going through the experience and remembering what your soul loves. That's what it's about here, right? So try not to put so much pressure on yourself to make things happen, figure things out, make relationships happen, have someone fall in love with you, have someone like you, make the money. Try to let that conditioning go. That's a human conditioning. And when you start to feel more comfortable with, you, with who you are, you start to embrace the joys of your heart and you start to become more loyal to what you love because you feel comfortable with who you are. And that's when changes happen. That's when transitions happen, right? 
Remember, it's always about where you are that makes the difference. Because what we can see here is again, that there are limiting beliefs that are holding you back. You're in a state of fear. This is confusing your perspective when it comes to the relationships in your life and about what is possible and what is not. Everything is possible here. Everything from the relationships, from your finances. But because you're in this state where you're feeling like things are not possible and you're seeing things from a perspective that, you know, what's the point, right? Kind of then that's creating also a, a, a feeling of disturbance within yourself around finances. So whatever career you're in, whatever, whatever it is that you're doing in your life, are you enjoying this, right? Are you, are you enjoying what you're doing? Are you, are you feeling happy and energized and joyful to wake up and be of service in the position that you're in? And, and if you're not, it's time to be honest with yourself, beautiful soul. And the thing is, is that doesn't mean you have to go and uproot everything and change everything and think, I hate my job. I got to change it all. No, that's not what it means. What it means is in the, in your lifestyle, in the overall big picture, what you're doing outside of your place of work, that's where there's a disconnection you see, because when we are connected and enjoying our lives and loving who we are, cause we're making the best choices for us. Cause we're, we're going off the guidance of our spirits. Then all of a sudden the place of work that we have or what we're doing in life, that's not our main focus. We are guided into what's best for us. We don't need to think about it. We don't need to figure it out. We don't need to try to make something happen or try to figure out where we're supposed to be doing or who we're supposed to be. We don't have to figure out who we are. We already know who we are. We have to remember who we are and remembering who we are means that we have to take better care of ourselves, right? It starts there. Okay. So make sure that you are getting enough rest, making sure that you are making those healthier food choices so that you feel better so that you get better results in this game of life. If you are actively choosing the option that is destroying you and is destructive for you, you are telling you right now, you won't reach the ultimate, the abundance that you came here to receive. You won't reach that, that the awareness of who you are. It just won't happen because we didn't come here to pollute ourselves and destroy ourselves by the choices we're making. Cause we're not feeling happy about ourselves. Right. But it first starts with consciously moving our bodies eating those healthier foods, getting out in nature, getting natural sunlight, drinking more water. A lot of the times this is overlooked. It's overlooked. It shouldn't be. It's step one, right? It's always step one. It brings us into a higher conscious state because we are saying, I love myself. I will take care of myself. And when we do this, then we are more aware of what it is we spend our time thinking about. We're more aware of what are, what are we watching on TV, right? And we recognize the energy it makes us feel. I don't feel very good when I watch this. I once felt good because I was, you know, you know, eating these foods and, and living this way. But now that I've made healthier choices in my life, I don't connect with this anymore. You see how your level went, energy went up, right? Uh, you, you changed, you had a rebirth, right? Every time we decide to make a consciously better choice for ourselves, our energy levels up. And when that happens, then we are on a different energy level of attraction. So we attract in nicer people. We attract in uh, more financial opportunities. We attract in uh, fun uh, experiences that we're open to. You see your quality of life increases when you take care of yourself in a more higher way. And so this is the message of today, because when you do that, you can get really real with yourself about what you actually want to do with your life, right? Sometimes we can fall into familiar patterns of routine and then we don't end up going. There's no changes that are made. There's nothing that's different. The changes that you're looking for in your life start with yourself, beautiful soul. And it's the easiest choice you can ever make, right? Get rid of all the processed and, and replenish it with whole foods. Start there. You know what I mean? It's great things that you can make in a whole foods uh, way, right? But ultimately right now, the first step of change starts within yourself. And we can see here that things are feeling unstable when it comes to you making choices for yourself and you uh, taking the leap and taking the action for yourself. So just start where you are. I'm going to start consciously drinking more water in a day. I'm going to start becoming more aware of how I energetically feel, how I feel and being more clear of how do I wish to feel. So when you, when, when you feel joyful, blissful and satisfied in your life, right? You know, sometimes the feeling of satisfaction comes from doing something we don't want to do, right? Like straight up, right? We don't always want to exercise. We don't always want to do these things. We don't always want to make the healthier choice, but when we do it, when we do it, that is us saying yes to ourselves. It's us saying yes to spirit. It's us saying I am here and I am consciously looking to change my life and level up and attract things into my life that I do not have right now. And that's what it's about. It's just making that conscious decision for yourself of that better choice and you will receive better results in your life.
Now, the universe is coming forward and your angels are coming forward with the message of daydream. So your angels are saying, you will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax, open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity. So anytime that we are in a daydream-like state, we are visualizing and try to create a paint a picture in your mind, right? Mine is, I wake up, I've got two dogs, I walk outside my house, I've got a beautiful garden, it's a rancher style house, so there's not a lot of space, right? It's just, it's cute, it's cozy, it could be a cottage somewhere, almost feeling like it's surrounded by trees, there's a lake just off the yonder, and it's, I walk outside with my cup of coffee, the dogs are ha having a good time, I'm maybe do some gardening, I'm in nature, that feeling of peace and relaxation and bliss, I know I'm gonna go inside and maybe do some reading and studying, and then maybe I know I'm going to learn some lessons from spirit, and maybe I'll do some writing in my book, you know what I mean? But that feeling, that that energetic feeling of just peace and satisfaction and 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 no no real uh you know need for anything, just being in that state, that that's that's what I like to feel. That's my that's sort of my scene that I feel and I create and I have that I know my life is is headed towards that, right? That's that's what I desire to live my life like, right? So have that for yourself. Paint yourself a scene in a relaxed state where things feel so good. What is your what does that feel like for you in your life? And that scene changed, by the way. There's many different scenes that I've had as my energies evolved, but now where I'm in my life, that feels the best. I just wanna be in nature and at peace, right? I, that's it, right? I just wanna hear the birds, have a couple dogs, do my writing, connect with spirit, I'm good. You know, that's that's all I'm really here for. That's all I, I, I know that my spirit came to, to embrace nature, really. And I didn't get to that point overnight, right? That was a that was a process to get there of what really I care about, you know what I mean? And so go through the motions of what do you really care about? What do you really come here to experience? You know what I mean? In this lifetime, what do you really come here to experience? Open that up for yourself, right? It's not gonna be to have conflicts. It's not gonna be to worry about money. It wasn't gonna be to get a look a certain way. It wasn't any of that stuff. That all stems from worry and fear, right? Try to get to the root of it. What do you really love, right? And that comes from starting to take care of yourself a little bit more, and then you start to go through that journey of discovery you love. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.